Aries, hello. Welcome to your mid-month reading for April. I have already cleared space, cleared cards, shuffled, uh, infused with Reiki. It's a general reading. So take it as it resonates. I'm starting... Um, With the Gateway of Light um, Oracle by Kyle Gray. And then I'll be laying down the um, Gilded Tarot and clarifying with the Classic. And then at the end, I'll pull another Oracle and a Rune. Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Support. I'm going to look that card up. Seraphim's Gateway, here it is. Your message is... You are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim. Know that these beings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice. Angelic support surrounds you at this time. Know that you are safe, for you are being held by the presence of love. The seraphim are witnessing the glory of your being and activating your angelic qualities. You care deeply about the welfare of the planet and all her beings. In fact, you are hoping to make a great difference in the world. And the reason for this is you are carrying angelic light. Let it shine on the world around you. All right, let's lay down our gilded tarot. Our first card is the devil. Interesting. A card of transformation, of letting go. What do you need to let go of? This is also a Aries card. Let's see. Five of Cups, a loss. Mm. Are you feeling um, or grieving over the loss of something that you've had to release and let go of? Let's keep going here. The High Priestess. Get in touch with your intuition. Trust your intuition. The Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Look at the spike. Can you see the spider in this one waving the web? And he is hard at work. building um, his on his skills, his knowledge, perhaps growing his knowledge, building on that, um, creating something for himself and possibly for others.
Four of Pentacles. He seems to be holding on to his pentacles. Build your foundations, um, but don't hold on too tightly. Allow things to flow. And this just jumped out. Uh, the King of Swords. Gain clarity. Move forward with intellect, with precision, deliberation. What else? Here? He is... Um, Successful, intelligent, wise, a very wise king. The Four of Cups. Now this is a little different. Usually I see um, someone asleep, missing the opportunity. But in this instance, this person seems to be awake and looking at the cup being handed out um very interesting opportunity coming toward you the three of wands now he has um, two ones behind him that he's turned his back on and he's he's turned in a new direction. He's looking out over the waters toward the ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've put in um, work. You have poured your heart out into creating these two wands. Your ship is coming in. It's time for your ship to come in. He awaits with anticipation. For his ship to come in. And then we have the moon. Make sure... You're doing that inner work, that inner reflection, facing the shadows, dealing with things as they arise. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, the victory card, success. Now we're going to clarify here with the classic. Clarify this devil card. There's something that needs releasing and letting go. Um, the lovers. Ooh, the lovers. A union. Hmm, interesting. Is there a union that you have had to let go of or perhaps has undergone some sort of transformation and it some sort of change? Let's oh, yes. the eight of cups. Walking away from what no longer serves. Something that uh, was no longer serving for the highest good. Something that needed to be released, walked away from. In order for transformation to happen. Take a time out for reflection, for rest, recuperation, recovering. Whether this is a relationship that you have um, released or somebody else has released you, or perhaps has undergone a, 
a change, a, a transformative change, and the relationship is no longer what it used to be. Take the time. to rest, recover. We have the Five of Cups here. Grieve the loss. Whatever that is. Grieve the loss. Feeling like you're being left out in the cold. Ask for help. Help is available to you. Turn to your um, support, your support system, whatever that is, family, friends. Taking action here with the chariot. Moving forward. So whatever's transpired, whatever has happened, whatever you've had to release, let go of, grieve over, get that done and then move on toward your victory. It's, it's not... It's not the end of the world. Um, there is opportunity to move forward here and claim victory. The King of Cups. Tap into that intuition. Um, he's in touch with his emotions and his intuition. But he's also very uh, stable, grounded. He's a strong king. And very intuitive. He uses his intuition. His compassion, his understanding. Treat yourself with more compassion and understanding. Treat the other person with more compassion and understanding. Whatever the situation is, the relationship, whatever's transpired, address it, heal from it, spend time and rest, tap into your intuition and your compassion, and move, move on from it, move forward into this high priestess where she is in touch with her intuition. Um, she also has the two pillars, which indicate stability. She um, seems to be very light. She's not weighed down by worry. See how she like just almost just floats over the water you have the moon behind her. Let's clarify. The Page of Swords. Gaining the clarity. Tapping into your intuition. Gaining the clarity. There is clarity coming in here. Trust your intuition. The Nine of Pentacles. Independence. She has gained independence. Look at her pentacles around her, the abundance around her. She has strength and independence here. Five of Swords.
she has overcome these challenges, any challenge. She's overcome it. She's being independent. She's dressed in red, she's passionate. Overcoming the challenges, putting in the work, diligently working at your craft. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish or create. There may be decisions or a decision that needs to be made. Again, tap into that intuition. See the moon behind her. She's blindfolded, so she's not using her sight. She's using her intuition to make that decision, to gain the clarity, to make the decision she needs to make. Sorry, the trash guys are going by here. That's kind of noisy. Lessons are learned, the completion of the cycle. Learning your lessons and moving forward. Um, there are possibilities before you. Um, possibilities to succeed for fulfillment. of Pentacles. Hmm. He is working on his craft. Um, the two here in the colorful garb, they don't seem to be working on the project. They are overseeing the project. Perhaps someone has taken notice of the hard work that you've been putting in. They're recognizing your hard work, your abilities, your craft. Um, there is a possibility there for some sort of offer. And we have the Four of Pentacles. He's holding on to his pentacles. Um, you've built a lot. You've put in a lot of work and effort. Make sure you're allowing things to flow and not holding on too tightly. Build your strong foundations, yes, but allow room for things to flow. For that um, reciprocal energy, that give and take, the natural flow of energy that happens. Don't close yourself off. Let's see what we have here. Seven of Wands, hold your ground. Following your passions, your desires, continue to create, to hone your craft, follow your path, stand your ground in your beliefs, your desires, what you know to be your truth you're trying to accomplish, to pursue. We have the devil again. Don't go back to that bondage. There was a transformation that occurred here. There's growth. There's a cycle that, that you've been through, that you've worked through. Don't go back to the old patterns the old beliefs that held you back. Continue um, to release that. Continue to address those old patterns and beliefs as they arise. Free yourself 
from their influence on your life. Queen of Cups, tapping into that intuition again. Compassionate, understanding, intuitive. In touch with your emotions, but well grounded. Rely on your intuition. Gain clarity. Make wise decisions and choices. And the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Could be a new offer. Somebody's handing you an opportunity. Um, presenting you with an opportunity. I like that there's a door. Are you gonna go through the door? Are you gonna choose to walk through the door? Or will you decline? This opportunity being presented. Again, something being presented. There's something coming in, some opportunity. Page of Cups. He holds his cup out, his offering. the Eight of Wands. Things are beginning to move and to fall into place for you here. We come down here to this Four of Cups where again it looks like something's being handed out to you. There's an offering being made. Some offer. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Ten of Wands. Is it an offer to put down your burdens? To lay down the burdens? You're almost there. The castle is here. He carries his burden, but you notice his stride. Um, he still has a strong stride. You're almost there, push through. Almost time to lay down those burdens. Perhaps the offer uh, is something that will enable you to do that. Keep it balanced, weigh your options. Use discernment in your decision making, weighing your options, keeping things balanced. Decide which path to take. The Knight of Wands. All right, we've gone backwards a little bit here. He's resting, he's tired, and yet, he is poised as if he's guarding what he's what he has acquired here with his wands. So he isn't giving up. He isn't giving up. He's watching for his ship here with the three of wands. He's waiting for that ship to come in. the Queen of Pentacles. Abundant, um, courageous. She's bold. Um, she multiplies her wealth. She is definitely uh, prosperous 
and has a strength about her. Tap into that energy, that strength, that abundant energy. Your shift is coming in. Blessings are coming in. Blessings are coming in. The Ten of Cups. The abundant, happy, family life, the fulfilling uh, wow this pretty much fills um, all your hopes and dreams the family life, the state of stability the abundance the inner fulfillment is there Star, yeah. The hope. The hope. Wishes and dreams fulfilled. The inner work with the moon. Face the shadows, reflect inward. None of this can happen without this, without the shadow work. Without facing the issues. Continue to work through um, those inner feelings, emotions, the old patterns, the things that arise as they arise. Put in a lot of hard work. Continue to face the shadow. Continue to do the inner work. And the rest will fall into place. You have a very good reading here. Um, of opportunity. Prosperity. Abundance. The four of wands. There it is. That stability. That family life, just like the Ten of Cups here, your fulfillment. Do the shadow work, address the issues. This is your outcome. This is your outcome. And I'm gonna leave that there, I like that. Um, and I'm gonna pull another oracle. Angels are watching over you as you work through the healing cycles, doing the inner work, facing the shadow. Know that the angels are watching over you. Akashic Record. Clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. Just, yeah, doing that inner work, clearing out the old stories, the old patterns, releasing that stuff, letting it go, working through it, doing the inner work, and the rest will fall into place. A lot of positive energy here. Very positive outcome. Don't run away from the shadow. Deal with it. Take the time you need to deal with it. Do the inner work. And our rune is uh, Burkana. This is a rune of Birthing new ideas, um, new projects, nurturing. Um, so make sure as you're going through um, these cycles of learning, of growth, of inner work, that you're taking the time to nurture yourself. And as you're growing, I see opportunities, uh, recognition for new projects, um, possibly even a new 
a new job. Um, there's some something coming in. So take the time to nurture. Nurture yourself, nurture uh, any projects, relationships. Wonderful reading. I like it. Thank you so much, Aries. Uh, if you like the reading, hit the like button. To subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of future readings, hit that notification bell. Any comments, input is welcomed. It helps um, the channel uh, when you interact. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I hope you have a blessed rest of the month. Thank you so much.